Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to go over matching pennies and mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. This is a straightforward game. You and a friend each have a penny in your hands. You simultaneously choose to put those pennies face up or face down on a table. If the coins match, that is, they are both on heads or both on tails, then your opponent pays you one dollar. But if they don't match, if one is heads and the other is tails, then you have to pay your opponent one dollar. This leads to a very simple game matrix. Matching pennies is the classic example of a zero-sum game. In a zero-sum game, whenever you win something, your opponent loses exactly that much, and vice versa. So here, whenever I win a dollar, my opponent loses a dollar. And whenever my opponent wins a dollar, I lose a dollar. If you recall back to the video on the stag hunt, we developed a method to find pure strategy Nash equilibria, or equilibria where neither player randomizes among his strategies. In the stag hunt, there are two pure strategy Nash equilibria, stag stag and rabbit rabbit. That is, both players always played stag, or both players always played rabbit. They weren't, for instance, choosing to play stag half the time and play rabbit the other half of the time. And going back to the prisoner's dilemma, the pure strategy Nash equilibrium was for both players to defect. Again, they were not randomly choosing to cooperate some of the time and randomly choosing to defect the rest of the time. Now let's try applying our method for finding pure strategy Nash equilibria to matching pennies. So we will start by assuming that no one would want to change their strategy if each player chose heads. And it's thoroughly obvious that this is not going to be an equilibrium. Player 2 benefits from deviating to tails. So now we check on heads tails, and we see this isn't an equilibrium either, because player 1 can profitably deviate to tails. So now we'll check tails tails, and we find that player 2 has a profitable deviation to heads. So we have one final strategy pair to check, tails heads, and we see that player 1 would want to deviate to heads. So we have no pure strategy Nash equilibria. Does that mean we're screwed? Mm, not quite. Nash's theorem says that there must be at least one Nash equilibrium for all finite games, but here there are no equilibria in pure strategies. The good news is that there's another type of equilibrium, mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. If no equilibrium exists in pure strategies, then one must exist in mixed strategies. A mixed strategy is a probability distribution over two or more pure strategies. That is, the players choose randomly among their options in equilibrium. And in, e and in equilibrium, each player's probability distribution makes all others indifferent between their pure strategies. It could be a 50-50 split or a 60-40 split or some other split. We don't know. But we actually have an algorithm that we can use to find this for any 2x2 two two matrix. We'll get to that in another video. Here, I just want to explain the logic that you need to play mixed strategies and understand why these things occur in equilibrium some of the time. Let's go to the matching pennies example. Suppose you were playing matching pennies against a mind reader. What could you do to avoid losing? It seems like you're destined to lose because no matter what you do, the mind reader will know what you've played and adopt the strategy that beats that. Well, one answer could be to flip a coin. At best, the mind reader could only win half the time. He can only read your mind that you're flipping your coin. He can't read what the flip is actually going to randomly come out. The idea is that mind reading is overrated if you can't actually learn anything from it. And if both players flip their coins, each player is indifferent between his pure strategies. That is, if player one is flipping, player two expects to win half the time and lose half the time, regardless of whether she chooses heads or tails. Likewise, if player two is flipping, Player 1 expects to win half the time and lose half the time, regardless of whether he chooses heads or tails. That meets our requirement, as you see in red, and thus we have found our mixed strategy Nash equilibrium for matching pennies. However, merely flipping a coin won't always make the opposing player indifferent between his pure strategies, including in this game here. To solve these games, we will need to use the mixed strategy algorithm, which I'll introduce in the next video.